Hello, a very quick bookshelf tour today. It is my Monday, my Tuesday is my Monday, and uh, yeah, to be honest, let's just keep it simple and fairly quick. Uh, today I'm going to do the new stories, uh, Love and Rockets, um, where uh, the Hernandez brothers, um, Beto and Gilbert, uh, alternate the covers. Um, that's, that is that is Gilbert. A giant, giant superwoman uh, putting a giant, giant um, superhero woman putting the lid back on a thing. Doesn't really have anything to do with the comic. Um, Beto with his covers with, I don't know if that's Fritz or who that is, um, walking through in kind of an odd surrealist uh, landscape, which does make, make sense. With her. Um, Gilbert does a lot of... Uh, much more kind of realist stories, I guess you would say. Um, uh, oftentimes, kind of almost uh, kind of just interweaving lives of his characters. Um, whereas uh, Beto is a little bit more fantastical, actually, of the two of them. Even though that Gilbert does do his superhero stories, but uh, Beto, you know, that I think her, he he does do stories of um, a a, uh, a movie star who does a lot of pulp 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 uh, movies which he definitely uh beto definitely kind of falls into that kind of um pulp pulp thing um uh i think most of these stories kind of center around kind of a kind of the uh latinx uh, community in L la um sometimes going over the border there's uh that's duck face there uh and uh that's duck face back there duck face and then uh, other 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 various characters um there as uh you have to have uh, luba with her hammer um and her stories and uh yes maggie and these are characters that have been we've just been we've been following throughout the years with uh with him um, um i think that's fritz there really uh interesting interesting characters uh, uh sometimes very sexualized um yeah some some gorgeous art uh there's not the, the lucidor um when it's when it's superheroes it, you get the kind of sense it's like the lucidors uh the mexican uh, wrestlers and indeed there was a story story thing there of 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 kind of the mexican wrestlers um they're a really rich rich bunch of uh stories um yeah um beto beto, beto um the more kind of fantastical can be more lurid more exploitation where uh, gilbert is more uh, interested in kind of quiet day-to-day -day life uh and uh is a little less uh cartoonist in his things and i, I kind of alternate back and forth of which one i i uh i'm on the wavelength more it's kind of cool that these comics just sort of have a tendency to alternate between the two sto two storylines or two the two artists which are whatever they're feeling like doing so you you're getting you're, it's kind of a good good way for two artists who are obviously related to um you know for how much you're going to produce um if you get two people together well then you can kind of you can get your, your work out that much uh that much more often and uh your fickle fickle public doesn't forget about you um yeah yeah so interesting stuff that is uh one little hunk of my uh my wall we'll get to the older um love and rockets comic books which go back years and years these are uh, relatively speaking more recent though i and i don't i don't even think i even have the most recent ones of of this of this run what year this is if it actually has stuff like years on it uh, rockets 2015 so yeah 2015 i'm behind i'm behind my my love and rockets though i don't know if i don't know if they're even continuing continuing on with this series but that's where i am at the moment that is my very short library book tour uh for my bookshelf tour for today now I'm going to go for a swim and try and wake up so I can go to work.